Welcome to Excel 2010 preview number six. Hey, the technical preview for Excel 2010 just came out about a week and a half ago and not due out until uh, sometime the beginning of next year. But I got to show you some amazing, uh, some more amazing statistics functions. We already looked at uh, percentile and rank. Uh, right now we're going to look at norm s dis. Now people, only people doing a lot of statistics are going to use these, but they made some real improvements. Let's just take a look. I'm going to use the norm uh, dist function. You could see they did this dot idea to let you know that there's a norm dot norm inverse and then norm s for standardized. These little red uh, circles at the bottom mean you're not supposed to use them. But let's go ahead and select our norm dist. And I'm going to take my x, comma, my mean, f4, comma, my standard deviation, comma, and watch this, comma, this cumulative. Uh, notice this is the old one, so I'm cheating. We're not going to get into the dot. But even with the old one in this new version, they give you the explanation. Now, this used to be really confusing in the older version uh, because they didn't tell you which function this was. False or zero is the, the mass function uh, for the height of the curve. And the one is the cumulative from the negative in infinity. So that's a huge improvement. Let's just go compare that. I'm going to copy this zip right to there. Put this one in and then double click and send it down. Let me go over to 2000 and. Uh, seven and just show you. So here I am, I'm doing the same thing, right? And as soon as I type a comma, boom, there it is. No drop down. And for uh, some people that always got confusing. You always had to go up to help and look at it. So that's uh, one improvement with uh, the uh, functions. Now really, I'm going to just quickly convert to this one to show you. Uh, that the dot dist works. It's exactly the same thing. It just uh, uh, expressly or, or visually differentiates with the dot because these are all normal distributions. This one's for uh, uh, the distribution in the inverse, and this is for the standardized. So those dots, a second huge improvement. Double click and send it down. It doesn't change anything. Now here's another improvement. If you like to use z, there's the norm s dist. So we'll do equals norm s dist and there it is you're not supposed to use those and you just you take your z and it gives you the probability uh, from oh, the negative infinity to whatever your z is but watch this the new norm s dist so first off it does the dot s which is convenient because you visually see and then uh, the second great thing about this is whoops I didn't want inverse I wanted the dist no way, they added a cumulative. Now, it used to be when you wanted to plot your chart, you had to use the norm dist, not the norm s dist. But people that like to use their z, you always were stuck with the cumulative version. But boom, watch this, comma, absolutely cool. And you saw when we did this one just a moment ago, it did not offer that up. That was not an argument. So this one is true because we're going from uh, negative infinity to the z. So I'll put one close parentheses. That's just amazing. You could see up here that um, argument wasn't even available. And why is that important? Because when you're uh, plotting uh, the chart, you absolutely need that zero to plot it. So that is uh, two great things, the visual differentiation and the fact that they added that cumulative for the S, the standardized curves. All right, we'll see you next trick.